In this video, we will discuss binding case law. You might also hear binding case law referred to as binding precedent or as stare decisis. Binding case law is a legal determination by an appellate court that a lower court in the same jurisdiction must follow. So let's take two states, New Jersey and New York, and we'll say both states pass identical statutes, identical laws that say it shall be illegal to gamble in this state. No gambling in New Jersey and no gambling in New York. And we'll say we have David here in New York, and one night he decides to play poker. Unfortunately, the police show up and David is arrested for violating New York's law against gambling. And poor David is put on trial in one of New York's trial courts for violating the law. But on appeal, New York's highest court says gambling is a game of chance. And we conclude that poker is a game of skill. Therefore, playing poker is not gambling. And now, good for David, New York's highest court just created new case law. Poker is not gambling. This decision by New York's highest court is binding case law, binding precedent on all inferior courts in New York. New York's trial courts must follow the appellate court's holding that poker isn't gambling. But New Jersey is a different state. It's a different jurisdiction. The decision by New York's Court of Appeals is binding on courts in New York, but it's not binding case law on courts in New Jersey. New Jersey courts are free to define poker as gambling. So in our example, we have two states with the same statute, but binding case law in each state is very different. To summarize, court opinions are the basis of case law. Lower courts must follow binding case law from appellate courts in the same jurisdiction. Case law is not binding on courts in other jurisdictions.